guys. Today we are going to create a chess database. A chess database is a database that contains chess games. It's used to analyze other chess players' games or various position and for save your own games. Since there are billions of positions in chess, there are more chess positions than atoms in the universe. Sometimes it's useful to have a database that collects your own games. Unfortunately many chess databases are paid. And, since I'm poor, I've decided to create one, that is free. It looks like this. It has a chess board where you can move the pieces. Every move will be written on the box in the right. If you want to save the game you have just played, click on the plus button, write the name and the description of the game and click add. The games of the database are written on the left and, if you click on them, the game will be reported on the chessboard. So cool, right? So, first of all we have to make the pieces on the board move. To do so, we have to define in which squares every pieces can move. For example a bishop can only move diagonally and, when we want to move it, we have to calculate in which square it can move. Then we have to remember that a piece cannot pass over another piece. Once we have fixed that, we can add all the other pieces. Like the king, the rook, the queen, the pawn and the knight. Now we are going to create a variable, moves, which will contain all the moves played in a game. In chess, algebraic notation is used to write games. Each move consists of which piece it moved and which square it was moved to. So now we can take the variable move and add it to the database. The database will only contain one table. The table will have three columns. The name, the description and the moves of each game. And now let's spend the next 17 hours adding games to the database. So guys I hope you enjoy the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you and see in the next video.